With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. An ideal gas, gamma is equal to 3 by 2, is compressed adiabatically from volume 400 centimeter cube to 100 centimeter cube. So we have V1 is equal to 400 centimeter cube which I will write in meter cube as 4 into 10 is to power minus 4 meter cube and V2 similarly would be 100 into 10 is to power minus 6 meter cube is equal to 10 is to the power minus 4 meter cube. Initial pressure and temperature are 100 kilopascal and 400 Kelvin. So, V1 is equal to 100 kilopascal in which, which would be 100 into 10 is to the power 5 Newton per meter squared is equal to 10 is to the power sorry sorry 10 is to the power 3 Newton per meter square which is 10 is to the power 5 Newton per meter square and temperature T1 is equal to 500 Kelvin. Find find A the number of poles of the gas. Okay. So to find A, I'm going to use the ideal gas equation. What is the ideal gas equation? PV is equal to NR capital T. So we have P1. P1 is equal to N R T1. Sorry, the temperature here is 400 Kelvin. Anyways, so P1 is 10 raised to the power 5. V1 is 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 is equal to N. R is given as 25 by 3 into Temperature T1, 400 Kelvin. Let's bring everything to one side. So, N is equal to 10 raised to the power 5 into 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 into 3 upon 25 into 400. Which gives me N is equal to 12 upon 10,000 into 10 is into 10 is equal to 0 0.012 moles. Great. Now, B, the molar heat capacity at constant pressure. Molar heat capacity at constant pressure is Cp. So, to find Cp, what I need to do, what I am going to do is, since this is an adiabatic process, the total change in heat will be equal to the to to total change in work. What I mean by that is, delta Q mod would be equal to delta W mod. So, Delta Q can be written as NCP delta Q mod equal to delta T R delta T on gamma minus 1 mod. Now, N, C, N is a positive, CP is a positive, delta, delta T mod will be equal to R upon gamma minus 1 delta T mod. I can cancel these out. And I have N C P is equal to R upon gamma minus 1. Which gives me C P is equal to R gamma minus 1 N. Now. R is given as 25 by 3, gamma is 3 by 2 
minus 1 and n is 0 0.012 which gives me Cb is equal to 25 upon 3 into 1 by 2 into 0 0.012 which is 50 by 36 into 10 is to the power 3 which turns out to be we can simplify this a little more 25 18 so this turns out to be 25 divided by 18 is equal to 1.38 into 10 is to the power 3 Joule per Kelvin. Let's move on to the next part. The final pressure and temperature. So, for the final pressure, I'm going to use the property of adiabatic expansion or the other adiabatic process. So, for adiabatic process, Pv raised to the power gamma is constant, which means that P1, P1 gamma is equal to P2, P2 gamma, which means the pressure P1, which is 10 raised to the power 5, 10 raised to the power 5 times pressure V1, volume V1. 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 4. 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 raised to the power 3 by 2 is equal to P2 and volume V2, which is 10 raised to the power minus 4. 10 raised to the power minus 4 raised to the power 3 by 2, which means P2 is equal to 10 raised to the power 5. 4 into 10 raised to minus 4 or 10 raised to the power minus 4 to the power 3 by 2 which gives me P2 is equal to 4 into 4 raised to the power 3 by 2 into 10 raised to the power 5 Newton per meter squared which gives me P2 is equal to 8 into 10 raised to the power 5 Newton per meter squared. The second thing that we need to find out is the temperature T2. So to find out T2, I am going to apply the ideal gas equation. P2, P2. We change the color P2 V2 is equal to nRT2. P2 is 10 8 into 10 raised to the power 5 into V2 is 10 raised to the power minus 4 is equal to n is 0 0.012 into R is 25 by 3 into T2. Let's simplify this P2 is equal to 8 into 10 into 3 upon 0 0.012 into 25 which 5 5 3 0 0.004 and 0 0.1 Gives me 4 into 1000 upon 5, which is 800 Kelvin. So the temperature T2 is 800 Kelvin. Now The D part of the question says the work done by the gas in the process. So, for an adiabatic process, work done 
let me change the pen work done is given as r t2 minus t r t1 minus t2 upon gamma minus 1 which would be 25 by 3 t1 is 400 kelvin minus t2 800 kelvin upon gamma 3 by 2 minus 1 which is equal to 25 by 3 times minus 400 upon 1 by 2 which is equal to 2 by 3 into 10 raised to the power 4 <coughs> is equal to minus 0.66 into 10 raised to the power 4 joules. Now, the E part asks the change in internal energy of the gas. Now, for an adiabatic process, since there is no heat being exchanged from the surroundings, all the work done and all the heat just interchange and therefore, there is no change in internal energy. So, delta U is equal to zero. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.